Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I've officially decided to end the project early. Now, as much as it hurts me to do this, especially with just two months left, I feel like it's the right thing to do. I've been dealing with a lot of things personally, and recently something has happened that really has pushed me over the edge. My personal health has declined to the point where I really need to start taking care of it. Throughout the entire project, we haven't shared it with you, but I've been in and out of the doctor's office. I don't want to get too far into this. You can listen to the most recent podcast episode where I explain this more in detail, but I actually have two autoimmune diseases. One of them attacks your joints and it also causes chronic fatigue. I've started getting really bad pain in my joints, my hands, my feet, even started developing a tumor on my hip. It's gotten to the point where I'm in pain every single day and I've been ne neglecting it because of the project. I've decided I just need to drop everything and focus on nothing but putting this in remission. I'm planning on doing a seven day fast and a lot of other things in regards to to diet to, to tackle this head on. You know, this isn't the only thing I've been dealing with though. I've pretty much documented the worst six months of my entire life for all of you to follow along. From being told my dad had about 12 months to live to dumping about $300,000 of my own money into a project that's almost completely derailed and different than what I originally set out to do. It's gotten to a point where I don't even enjoy filming anymore. It's become more of a chore and something that I just dread doing building a business that I don't even necessarily want to build, which is the marketing agency. I'm just spending too much time and money on things that aren't important right now. And I need to put myself first and really refocus on what is important. I take a lot of pride in the work that I put out. And when I look at the earlier videos versus the videos now, I'm just not proud of the videos that I'm putting out. This is not what I set out to do and this has Again, it's just gotten too derailed from the original goal. You know, to be quite honest, when we first started this project, creating content was so much fun. We overcame so much adversity and so many challenges. I mean, we went from homeless to making our first $350 in profit, living out of an RV, getting my first computer, finding a co-working space, signing my first contract, and then even getting a house with no credit, no money. I'm happy that I got to share a lot of that. I mean, at this point in the project, I'm making $10,000 a month in revenue. $5,000 in profit. That's okay. You know, when I set out to do this, I really thought I could do a million dollars. And I still think if the cards fell a little bit different, maybe I could have, but it's still pretty cool to, to you know, go from absolutely nothing to $10,000 in monthly revenue. I get asked all the time, what have you learned the most since starting this project? A lot of what's come to light for me is like what truly matters, which is health and gratitude. It's funny because if you go watch earlier pieces of content, I said over and over again, the thing that matters most is your health. I want you to know, whoever you are right now, whatever you're going through, whatever your struggle is, as long as you and your family have your health, there's nothing to be upset about. And I almost feel like I said that too many times where maybe I put <laughs> something bad into the world by just saying that over and over again because of how things have happened, but it's true. So if you do have your health, you have something to be grateful for. And I'm not even talking like a, a terminal illness. You should be grateful that your shoulder doesn't hurt. You should be grateful that you can see. People aren't always grateful for those things until they actually lose those things. The other thing that I think I've confirmed a lot for myself is that at the end of the day, I don't care who you are, you're not a victim. As much as the world wants to tell you're a victim because of whatever reason, whether it's the color of your skin, or your background, or your situation. If you can believe in yourself and you can get your mindset right and bet on you, you can create whatever life it is that you wanna create. I don't care if you've lost your job, you've lost your business, whatever your situation is. If someone that looks like you and is in the same situation as you has accomplished whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it as well. Right now I can feel sorry for myself or I can go and say, you know what? I wanna fix these things, I'm gonna fucking own it. A lot of things about this situation suck, but I'm in control of my mindset. Everyone has bad times and goes through shit in life, but it's how you react to those things that are thrown at you. I think my dad's the best example of this. He was given a terminal diagnosis, and the next day was referring to himself as the luckiest man in the world. I wanna thank my dad who's been my biggest inspiration, and it has shown me that the best part about life is helping others and giving back. You know, there's a couple other people I wanna thank. Special shout out to my buddy Chase, who has been by far my biggest supporter 
throughout this entire project. He's been on every single live stream, pretty much hit me up every single day since I've moved back to the Philly area. It means a lot to me, my man. And lastly, and most importantly, I really wanna thank Deirdre for everything that she's done for me throughout this entire project. Deirdre was the glue behind everything that held the team in place. They made sure that everything you go is as good as possible, and I just cannot thank you enough for all the sacrifices you've made and the support that you've given me throughout the entire project. The last thing I wanna share with you guys is that I do plan to continue making content in the future. Just for now, I have to get my health straight and really just focus on nothing but that. But I do have a lot of exciting things planned. Um, some things you haven't seen is the Ecom House. We're about to sign on five units. It'll bring in anywhere from 30 to $45,000 in revenue every month. And I'd love to share that with you guys once I get my health in order. But I will at the very least post on social media to give you guys updates. If I do have enough time or I do get my health uh, back in a good spot earlier than expected, then maybe I'll even make a video. But I don't wanna promise anything. We've been through a lot together. We've laughed together, we've cried together, we've crushed beans together, we've flipped a whole lot of dirty ass couches and half working bikes. We walked miles and miles to ride on COVID infested buses and spent late nights in the office working super hard when no one else was watching. And I seriously cannot thank you all enough for just the absolute most amazing support that I could ever ask for. I really hope that I've been able to help you or provide you value in any way, shape, or form with all the content that we've put out. I hope to make content for you guys very, very soon. And until then, that is it for NBC.